Reaper Man here, back at my workbench with another kind of setup show off video. This is a bit of an older build that I did, and it's a Game Boy Advance wireless dueling set. This is kind of modeled after those cases of dueling pistols where there's two matched pistols in one box for, you know, getting your duel on. Uh, so in this one, there's actually two Game Boy Advance SP AGS 101 models, the, uh, the backlit ones, as well as two wireless adapters by Majesco. And uh, it's got two charging cables, one AC adapter, and two flash carts so that all the games can be played. Uh, the flash carts used to match, but I have no idea what I did with my other Easy Flash 4, so the M3 Mini is going to have to stand in for today. Now on these wireless adapters, one thing I've noticed about them is they will not play the single pack games. They seem to only play the multi-pack wireless, but usually the single pack wireless is uh, the, the same game, but kind of a cut down feature set. There's also a separate set of Majesco wireless adapters, and they're just for messaging. I'll flash an image of that up on the screen now. Uh, additionally, there's also an official Nintendo wireless adapter, but to my knowledge, this is only for Pokemon, so I've, I've actually never used this adapter. One, one other regret that I have on this system is that these are um, USB to Game Boy Advance SP adapters, but I could not locate one of these nice retractable ones like I have for my Game Boy Micros. That is an unfortunate thing. Anyway, getting on to the systems themselves, these came, I uh, got these a heck of a deal because they came in the silly colors that AGS 101 systems usually come in, which is like teal and pink. And I've reshelled them using two shells. Uh, so the outside is blue or red, and the inside on both is black. Now, for my quick shopping tip of the day on buying an AGS-101, if you notice, here I've got an AGS-001 and an AGS-101. And when you're on eBay, have a look, they'll be powered off, of course, at the screens. And the inferior front-lit model is going to have a lighter colored screen than the superior back-lit models. Now, these screens are not perfect, and I will point that out. They're not very good for action games because they seem to blur a lot more than the backlit screen in, say, a Game Boy Micro, or, of course, the, the much more modern IPS screens that we would see in a, um, an IPS mod or something like that. I guess to demonstrate my point a little better on the screen brightness, I've set up a quick comparison. And over here we have the two frontlit units. This is actually an afterburner modification, so it's in here just to kind of round out the six. This is the original Game Boy Advance SP at full brightness. And this is the AGS-101 Game Boy Advance SP at full brightness. Uh, down here we have a modern IPS backlight mod, which is probably blowing the camera out pretty good. And then this is the uh, Game Boy Micro, which used to be my favorite system ever until I got my eyes lasered. And now I can't hold it close enough to my face. Also, here's a um, DS light that's in here just to kind of also round it out. And since it's got a Game Boy Advance slot, I guess that makes it a, a pretty valid option as well. Now I've wandered fairly far off topic on this one, so let's bring it back to the case itself and why I built it. So, for those who don't know, I live in New Orleans and hurricane season was coming up and I might either have to live in a house without power for a week or more, or else evacuate to some place where I don't have any of my stuff. So the thought was that I could have this thing in a waterproof case, just kind of grab it and go, and the wife and I could play games against each other on the road. Um, that was kind of a silly thought because I think I've only seen the wife play video games involving Hello Kitty and maybe about five different types of Bejeweled. So in reality, she would probably be watching movies on this, either on the dedicated cartridges or uh, some of the uh, M3's features, our movie playback, so probably on there. To be honest, I've never actually played multiplayer on this set ever, so it's never been used for its purpose. And I've never played multiplayer Game Boy in general. So in truth, I don't actually know if this Majesco wireless setup works very well at all or not. I do know that it doesn't work in single cart mode, and I do know that I have to elevate these a little bit to keep their antennas off of my table. So we'll go down to multiplayer. We'll go to multi-pack link. Boom! Sees this guy's player one, that guy's player two. Going in, we'll do a two-player game, Mario GP 50 CCs. And you're going to be Luigi, you're going to be Toad. And we just hit go. 
We're going to do the mushroom cup. And sure enough, with proper antenna placement, this does seem to work considerably better. When they were sitting flat on the table, I was seeing an awful lot of link drops and really never even got to this point. There's Toad. And now I am passing Toad. So yes, this does seem to work. So there we have my Game Boy Advance dueling kit. One of many gaming setups I've done over the years and just never shared on video. Let me know what you think and what you've done with your Game Boy Advance setups.